If you're familiar with ZBrush's ZRemesher functionality, you're going to be ready to go with the new ZRemesher Deformer. Uh, but we'll go ahead and talk about it here. So we're going to go hit the comma key, go into your projects, and just load up this demo anime head, and then hit the comma key to get rid of this light box. And then we're going to go out of perspective mode, and we have a head here. Now we have X symmetry turned on, so when you hit W, go into the deformers here, and then we do remesh by ZRemesher. You're going to see we have a ZRemesher our cones here, we can tell it, okay, we want to do X symmetry, parallel and mirror like we've talked about before. So if you do um, one is set to parallel, two is set to mirror, we probably want to do mirrored symmetry across the X axis is generally how we work. But of course you can do X, Y, or Z. And then over here you have your total target polygon count. So right now it's set to 52. Let's crank that all the way up to like, so we're at 100,000 points right now. Let's Z remesh this down to say 2,800. And there we go. Now if that's too high or that's too low, you can go ahead and drag this down and it's going to keep it in memory. It's always going to go back down to the original. And then you can Z-Remesh, uh, you can see the Z-Remesh results from here. And of course it's mirrored across the X-axis. If you're not familiar with the Z-Remesh functionality, you can watch my intro to ZBrush videos on my YouTube channel. We can talk about them just really quickly here over uh, the geometry menu under Z-Remesh. There's a few more options in here that aren't available in the deformer as of this writing. Oops, that's it. Q to go into draw mode back in edit mode here. So for example, with zero mesh, I can go through here. I'm going to do a trim curve. Actually, let's do, hold down control shift, go to slice curve, and we're going to slice the bottom of this neck off here. Hold down control shift and isolate this one. So we can do zero mesh with open holes and it works fine. As well as if you want to slice along your mouse, so again, hold down control shift, drag out a curve here. You can use space bar to move it around and then tap alt once to kind of slice through your mesh here. So wherever you have a polygroup here, Ziri mesh will put a line right here. If we, for example, go over here to keep groups, you can change the adaptive size settings here. So the lower this adaptive size setting is, the more square your geometry will be. The higher this is, the more ZBrush will build in edges to maintain your form. So you can kind of pick and choose which direction you want to go through. We can turn that down to zero. And then instead of setting a target polygon count like we were doing with the cone, what we can do is we can just say half and then hit Z remesher. And you're going to see it maintain that line because we had keep groups on. Of course, you can also do B, Z, R, Z remesher guides, and you can just go through here and you can actually add your own guides to dictate where you want those poly groups to go. Another thing you may want to consider is if I go over here to subtool, I can duplicate this off and then we can take this head here and then we'll just keep hitting Z remesh half. And if I keep going down, you're going to see the uh, vertices are averaging. I'm going to go over here to project and I can hit project all. So as long as both of these subtools are showing and they have the eyeball turned on, I can keep re projecting back to my higher resolution mesh. Now, the other thing I want to make sure I'm doing is I tap X to go uh, back into X symmetry here. So as I'm Z remeshing this down, it's being symmetrical across the X axis like so. And then again, just keep going back here and projecting back to your original mesh. Uh, another alternative way to Z remesh with a different center line is if you hold down Alt and tap Z remesh, you're going to see it'll give you a new algorithm to do a different center line. So if you're having issues with your line going down the middle, hold down Alt and hit Z remesher and it'll give you a different um, method for creating your geometry.